it's Wolfie Chan, and I am back with another manga review. And this one is Spirit and Cat Ears, Volume 2. I know it took me a while to finally get into reading the rest of it, or more of it. Sorry. Sorry about that. My bad. My bad. Uh, so this one's still Naniku, or Naneko, follows her journey as going through a priestess and trying to get the Kuda, which is our Kudo, out of her. And so this volume kind of goes over a couple other priestesses and like she's protecting, and it's not Niniku, it's uh, another priestess, is protecting a guardian dog, which you actually don't know that it's a guardian dog until she brings it back. And it's like the smallest priestess. Um, and you bring it back and you find out that that is a guardian dog and it, uh, you are feeding it to make it feel better and all this adorable stuff. So that's a really cool part and I love the dog. There's actually, um, artwork in at least volume three of the little doggo, which is really cute. Uh, so it's, I think it's cool and interesting. Uh, then we go into Niniku's, uh, Neneko. I think it's Neneko. Uh, I, I call her Niniko. I'll just keep calling her that. And I've slowly realized I cannot say her Shiki's name. It's like Shinekaki or Kaku. I'm really bad at his name, but Niniko. Yeah. Uh, she starts feeling the one priestess that's like the bad one. And that's not in the league of these other priestesses that are trying to do better trying to get better at their powers and all this stuff there is kind of our main villain which is this bad priestess and she's like my ears feel bad like i feel something's wrong but she doesn't know what it is and stuff like that but sees the priestess as a student in her school but like the girl's like i don't remember anybody because i barely come to school because i'm very always sick and i'm like really always sick mm, yeah um and they go to school and stuff like that and she's feeling really really sick because the kuda or kudo kado kudo it, the, the fox spirit that's inside of her that makes her have ears is reacting to the evil forces and so she i think she accidentally passes out and so she has to be taken to the nurses, lays down, uh, talks with her, uh, Shinigami. The nurse is like, look, if you're not really see, go. And of course he's helping her put on her gym attire. And the nurse closes it on automatically and is like, what the, opens it up and it's only Niniku. And I'm like, you Shinigamis are very, very mean. So... That happens, and it's very weird, and we finally get to see, once again, the Dark Priestess in action, and the other priestesses are trying to stop her. Well, the one that uh, is on the cover are, is very much, I want to do everything by myself, I do not need any help from anybody. Uh, so they get enclosed, and she tries to escape with him. It doesn't work. Then Niniku's powers kind of burst out more? And she's able to break out, but isn't able to contain the priestess. Thus begins the new arc in the story of her self-doubt and being a priestess. Because she gets really sad about that stuff. Um, and then as we get to more the end of the book, they start selling uh, the sweets at this festival. And of course, like, Miniku Shigami can make different outfits and all that stuff. And it's like, ah, oh, you... You person. Uh, and for doing that, he tries to come up with maid outfits, which when they finally do come up with it, it's not as weirdly sexy. <laughs> I say that, but it's not as weirdly sexy. It's strange. <laughs> and so they start selling, and then Niniku runs into this guy who's like, I've missed you, all this stuff. And she's like, I don't know who you are. It's very interesting and very strange. And so, after that, you find out that the person who they're selling the snacks for, because she's elderly and can't do it as much anymore, 
it's a dead person that knew her, but Miniku looks very much like her. And they get the ghost to actually go into her Shikigami and talk to the lady. And it's like, well, don't worry. I will see you soon. Just pass along and I'll see you soon. It's a very sad tale because it was back in the olden days where there were arranged marriages and love was not a big player in who you got married to. And of course they met every time in the festival and the one time that she didn't, he got very upset and became dead. We'll go with that. <laughs> so this volume is pretty amazing and pretty awesome that we get to see more of Niniku's powers come out and she's trying to use them better and use them more to help people and try to take down the start pieces. It's strange, but also very interesting. So I love this story. It, it keeps getting better. I'm going to have more reviews on it later. So if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below. What do you think of Spirits and Cat's Ears so far? Uh, and or who's your favorite character? I do like Niniku. She's adorable. The restraining thing, though. Okay. <laughs> And definitely don't forget to subscribe that big red button for more anime and manga reviews coming up in the future. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more coming out on a daily basis. Who knows? My life is a potato. And if you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook for any alerts or if I'm going live on Twitch, link is down below. And I hope that you've been having a very wonderful day. Well, for chan out. Bye. Thank you.